Apparently, we need more darkness. Might seem strange, especially at this time of year when we seem to want more light. If you want to look at the stars, though, there are too many lights on. Well, astronomers have now started designating the areas that suit their needs best. Exmoor has been named Europe's first dark sky reserve. Our reporter Andrew Plant is at the Norman Lockyer Observatory in Devon to find out more. Morning. Yeah, very good morning to you, Sean and Bill. Just take a look at this. It is a Goliath of a telescope. It was built back in uh, 1884 and still going strong. Although uh, we haven't been able to see many stars here this morning because there is a real pea super down here in Devon. Now that really is a problem. If we live in uh, cities, towns, even villages these days, there is just too much light pollution for us to really see the stars. Now though, as you were saying, Exmoor National Park has been declared Europe's first dark sky reserve, a place we can really appreciate the night sky without needing one of these. The Earth at night shot from space. Japan far right, America to the left, and Europe in the middle, showing that even after dark, we love to leave the lights on. White light affects our ability to see the stars or to see starlights. It's called light pollution. Now, though, Starford Exmoor National Park are aiming to put the darkness and back into nighttime. The reading of the, the, the light that's Using these the light day. monitors, they proved that Exmoor was officially one of the UK's darkest spots. Now, its first dark sky reserve, somewhere the stars really do come out at night. It's directing light when it's needed, where it's needed, so you can really lose yourself in uh, in the you know the, the, the sites we have here. Yeah, so I'm looking here at the Pleiades. Exmoor is already Seven attracting sisters. seasoned stargazers telescope. and telescope tourists Seven. alike. When it's dark, you can see as many as two and a half thousand stars, whereas in a city, you might be lucky to see 200. This is what the professionals have captured here. Now, star photography is very tricky, not least because of the rotation of the Earth. But here, even an amateur, me can take this shot of the plough with no training. The night skies are so much better, some of the best you can see anywhere in the UK. Galloway Forest in Scotland is a dark sky park and the island of Sark is a dark sky community. But Exmoor is only the world's second dark sky reserve. Even in our towns and cities, there can be stargazing sweet spots. Scientists in Oxfordshire are asking the public to share their best ones. Somewhere away from street lamps, away from overhanging trees, and where they can go and enjoy the stars or the planets or the, even a satellite that they can see um, above their heads in the night sky. It's a commitment that's catching on to help everyone in the light, leaky UK appreciate the night sky again. Now, we are about 40 miles away from Exmoor here. We were trying to get some more star photography uh, for you, but we've been foiled by the fog. We are, though, joined by uh, Dr Jennifer Hatchell, astrophysicist. Thanks so much for coming.